It's your boy Dingling a saying, are you not getting any wins in Fortnite Season 2, Chapter 2? Are you always frustrated to why everyone is eliminating you in mid and end game in a match? Well look no further, you're in the right place on how to always win in Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2, an easy guide for a victory royale. And don't forget to use my support creator code guys, it helps me eat. So before I go into these tips and tricks on how to secure a victory rail in a game of Fortnite, let's first talk about the changes that have happened in Season 2. Some of the weapons in Season 1 have been vaulted. Epic Games has decided to vault all bolt action sniper rifles, epic and legendary SMGs and uncommon and common rocket launchers. Now we know these now vaulted weapons played a huge role in Season 1 to help you get that victory rail. However, Epic have unvaulted similar weapons to make this game exciting. These unvault weapons are Heavy Sniper, Minigun, C4, Drum Gun, Boom Bow, Suppressed Assault Rifle, Suppressed SMGs and a Grappler Gun. We have now got a lot more variety to add to our loadout alongside a bunch of new items like the decoy bomb which is so good if it is used tactically and of course the overpowered mythic weapons that you get from eliminating the bosses in the 5 new POIs. If you haven't seen my video on that check it out, the link is in the description section below. So I did just touch on the new unvaulted weapon and the mythic weapons that are dropped by the bosses in each of the new 5 POI. Now these locations are great, I know these locations are like hot drops right now but literally my first tip is check out the new POIs to get the most epic loadout early game. Now I know these points of interest are hot drops and everyone goes there but the best and easiest one to go to is the grotto in my opinion. Now you're probably thinking are you crazy? Hell no! The reason why I say this is because it's a huge POI with a load of floor loot, the henchmen drop epic loot, guns, you can use them to open up restricted crates and get into restricted areas which gives you tons of loot and of course Brutus is the boss in this POI you take him out not only do you gain access to the vault where there's tons of loot and epic chests and epic weapons and whatnot you also get the unvaulted mythic minigun which is insanely powerful I cannot stress how really important it is to get the right loadout at the start of the game my suggested loadout is assault rifle SMG pump shotgun or tack an explosive like rocket launchers or C4 and shields in that order is all and if you don't want the shields at least grab the minigun the mythic minigun dropped by Grotto himself and the reason why I like this is because it helps in all situations whether it's long distance fight or close range combat for example I play on the console so my shotgun is right next to the SMG when trying to eliminate the opponent at close range I'll always fire the shotgun first and then quickly switch to the SMG on the left of the shotgun and spray them to get that kill and the reason why I have the SMG on the left of the shotgun as soon as I fire the pump or tactical shotgun I hit the top left bumper to switch to the SMG rather than use the right bumper it's because the right trigger is used to fire the weapon and my finger is really placed on the left bumper which makes it so much faster to switch to the SMG. I hope you get what I mean but that is another tip, get comfortable with the positioning of your loadout. Anyways going back to tip number one, if you feel the 5 new POIs are way too difficult to navigate because it's such a hot drop and everyone goes there, definitely check out the underground base which is a shadow safe house beta located on the east of Frenzy Farm. You'll find the teleporting toilet at the gas station in a small room. There you'll be greeted by two lovely henchmen, take them out and their heavy assault rifles when they drop it. When you go through the portal loot, take out the henchmen but keep one alive to open up the restricted chest. Your loadout won't be as epic but you will have a great start to the game. A bit of advice as well, don't underestimate these henchmen, they're not bots. Well they are but like they're not as bad as the bots in the last season, they're actually pretty good. So yeah, just keep your eyes out and just keep your wits on you though when you are tackling them. As you can see I'm in the Shadow House Beta underground near Frenzy Farm on the east of it under the gas station. There's only three henchmen here so make sure you take them all out. Don't forget to keep one alive so you can actually gain access to the chest. Make sure you shake them down to gain as much experience as you can, I've actually made a video on that as well. But anyway, so I've got my henchmen here, I'm going to take them to the chest, give them a little scan. I've already got myself a blue heavy assault rifle, let's see what I can get out of the chest. As you can see guys, i got myself a purple heavy assault rifle with a big pot shield as well and a decoy bomb too. Using this tactfully will help you gain the win. It confuses the opponent, using it the right way with explosives, it's a no brainer. You've done yourself a real good job if you actually pull it off. 
So your start game was perfect and you got the right loadout. Now going to mid game fight, using explosives are a great way tearing down builds, bringing your opponent down to your level or just blowing up their structures which is protecting them. In situations where you have a player just doing 90s and gaining height over you, don't be shy to blow their base up, their build with the C4s or a rocket launcher. One or two things will happen, you will either eliminate the opponent due to fall damage or they'll come down to your level and then you just use the simple methods of pump to SMG or tactical to SMG and the traps have been faulted so don't worry about getting into the opponent's box if you have an SMG shotgun or even a mythic minigun break their walls down shotgun them in the face and finish them off with the SMG you have to be quick and fast and lay the pressure on them in any fights in Fortnite, getting the first shot in will most likely guarantee a win for you, especially now that traps have been vaulted. Using the element of surprise and using fast rate of rifle weapons like the SMG or even the minigun tearing down the opponent's walls and letting them bullets fly into the enemy will give you that sweet elimination. Using the unvaulted heavy sniper to take down a build and quickly switch to a shotgun or SMG or even an AR to finish them off. No need to worry about traps. In mid game, other players will just try to push on you so you always have to have your shotgun ready and an SMG I can't stress that enough you have to be paranoid in a match it's only going to increase your awareness and reflexes when it's needed mobility is so important the map is huge so always keep moving and jumping so you're not an easy target this is all about surviving to the end game and getting that win now that you have been following my strategy you have an awesome loadout and survive mid game with a few easy eliminations on your belt Setting yourself up is key to gaining that victory. Being in a bad spot like in the middle of the last remaining players because you didn't plan ahead is going to get you killed. You have to rotate and get yourself in the best possible position. I would always say make sure you're not in between multiple enemies. Be in a position where you can see them all. For example, if there are two players remaining, be in a position where you know they are there. 90% of the time, players will start cranking 90 or build to keep themselves protected, so it won't be hard to know where they are if you are properly positioned. Plus, the storm's coming in closer, so you're all in a little tight space. Make sure you have high ground to give you that advantage too. Having that assault rifle is going to help you fight from a distance, but what I usually like to do is pressurize them. And what I mean by that is have a launch pad too and make a quick move to the enemy having my shotgun and SMG ready to get that elimination especially in endgame another tip in endgame are the supply drop they are so overrated and for some reason players don't actually tend to go to them they will help you out enormously if you are able to get to a supply drop do so they may drop shields explosives and that's gonna set you up for the win there are a few times you would choke and lose the end game really frustrating but nine out of ten times when you have the right gear you check out the supply drops you will get that victory royale just concentrate and get yourself in the right position where you can see the enemies have your explosives like a rocket launcher or a C4 and if they try to push you have a good pump and an SMG to take them out and win don't choke just play like you have been throughout the match a lot of players choke and I'm a victim of this too what towards the end of the game I start to panic I start to get nervous I start I just start to flip out but you can't you have to keep it cool you got to keep composed and just keep playing like you have been during start game and mid game now in chapter 2 season 2 epic games update has really benefited players that are finding it way too difficult to get a dub matchmaking has improved immensely sweats are now be matched with sweats whereas casual players will fight amongst each other which makes the game a lot more enjoyable fairer and that little bit easier to get the dub anyways to summarize guys start game is all about getting the right loadout i will always recommend having a shotgun and an smg as a combo to eliminate the enemy five pois are the best places for the best loot right now but make sure you check out the shadow safe house beta for an easier start game mid game is all about surviving and when you come across enemies make sure you pressurize them do not cower away and always have high advantage with the right loadout you can easily win always try to get the first shot in and use the element of surprise unvaulted weapons like the heavy sniper can easily one shot builds and miniguns can spray through the walls into the enemy giving you that elimination don't be afraid to use explosives to bring down the enemy in a box fight too and end game is all about keeping your cool so don't panic and don't choke make sure you rotate effectively make sure you have the enemies in your sight and you're knowing all their movements and have high advantage too and again use your loadout effectively smg pump have your ar there 
have your explosives ready like a rocket launcher or your C4. Anyways guys, this is your boy Dingaling a Sync. I hope this guide has helped you out. I hope you follow my strategy and if it does, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys.